to another Division video. In this video I will give you an updated version of my guide how you can do Times Square Power Relay on Legendary Difficulty Solo as fast and easy as possible. Yeah, I would say let's get right into it and start with this one. So for this one really the easiest way is to have uh, a skills not your sticky and seeker use here all the time Turret and Seeker is much easier. So first of all, just go down here, throw your Seekers in front there. You can probably hit the Sniper as well, that's why I shoot the Seekers in front there. And place your turret on this red box, as you saw, down there. And you should be able to kill all of them with just one uh, round of Seeker Mines. Next round, shotgun will spawn. You can make a grenade ready to throw it down here. No, it don't. They don't come now. Throw down your seekers. You can make your grenade ready again. And as soon as they came, then you should be able to kill wall, all of them too. Shotgunners with just one round of seeker mine. It's always a little bit a matter. That was stupid, Roger, that was really stupid. Um, he should be able to kill, as you saw, all of them with just one more round of secret mines. So that's really easy. And yeah, I think as I heard, this first part is really the hardest one of the whole mission from some of you. So that's, that's really the easiest way to do this part, in my opinion. And as you see, you can just stand up here, relax and throw down your seekers as soon as you have them back. And as you saw before, I used one of my consumable because it's part of a accommodation to, uh, you can do as well. So that's why I sometimes use a consumable just to get more kills while using consumable. And as you see, don't forget to use your grenades as well up here, aggro them and you should be able to kill all of them. Oh. Yes, Massive didn't fix this. Still didn't fix this. Dagger effect from the grenade will happen. It's a little bit close, your friend. Oh, turn it down. And yeah, all the time, main strategy if you have a skill build, when they rush you, just back out. Which means here, just go out, out of this building and go behind the car, go behind the cover and throw your secret as soon as you have them and you should be fine. As you see, pretty easy, first part. Just stand up there, use your skills, which means turret and your secrets and you should be fine. So the next part, to be honest with you, I don't have changed that many things to my previous video. Next part I changed a little bit, which makes it a little bit easier in my opinion. Uh, depends how fast you will do this part here. You can use a water to do more damage to the shield guy. Just go behind, behind the cover here, throw your seekers and place your turret on this thing here. I don't know how to name it. Yeah, and just relax until the guy is dead. You can throw grenades as well to make it a little bit faster. And I could change my build, my mask. I usually prefer to have reha rehab mask. It's not yeah, the most important thing here on this mission, but to get the stacks with my turret, I changed to four piece tactician, and he's already dead. And if you're interested in the build I'm using, I did already a video about it from 1.6 as well. But uh, yes, it's still viable. I don't have to change anything. There isn't a better option at the moment, so just check it out. I will leave the link at the end of this video that you can check the build out I'm using here. So for the next part, the easiest thing for me at least is just to run past here. Just check and watch on the left side to the sniper on the top. He can spot you. If he did, then it doesn't matter that much, although you have to use a super. You will have your super spec so fast, it's incredible. Aggro them, that they come after you, place your turret here. And go behind this corner. First round you should be able to do it from here. The red bar or the red thing on the minimap you see, it's just a sniper above me. 
but they don't rush you down there, so you should be fine. There's one guy left there, so just wait for my seeker. Throw it in front there. They should go for both, not really. Yeah, we can be safe, we can be a little bit more aggressive is the wrong word. Offensive and stay here. I'll show you the other spot in a minute. A little bastard. I hope my turret is back soon. They will spawn out of this shop here. Why is it not that? No. You can place your turret in front of the shop here. They will spawn in the shop as you see now. And just back up. Shotgunners will spawn. You can wait for your seekers. Drink soda for shorter cooldowns. Throw your seekers and back up. And this for me is the safest place here on this mission. And now you can jump over this. And go up here on this platform. And you can stand all the way up here for the rest. Not the rest of the mission. The rest of the next part. And they will spawn again. And you can throw your seeker. Try to shoot them on this other platform there. Then the range is the far the longest. So then you can hit all of them. And just throw down your seekers and your turrets on the ground there. And it makes it pretty easy as you see. For the next part it can be that you have to come down here on this from this platform to grab aggro. Because the guys stand on the police station at the beginning. Then you have to grab aggro quickly. Go back here. And just go ahead with the procedure. Okay. But I... Yeah, this saw him. Nice. And as you see, makes it pretty easy from up here. Detected. Next round, spawning just. Same procedure. Came out of the door. So slow down. Seeker, place your turret. Pretty easy from up here. <coughs> and yes, of course, if you have any other questions to this mission, to other mis missions, if you want to see other guides, I did some of them, just check it out on my channel and for recommendations, some of them too. So just check it out. If you have any other questions, would like to see any other guides or builds, whatever, just leave a comment down below. I really answer all of your comments and really appreciate your comments below so thanks a lot for all of you for the thumbs up and for the comment I really appreciate it as you see now NPCs should be all left here so we have to grab aggro for the next part just some red bar NPCs so should be not that hard grab all the shit together laying around here and as you see they should stand somewhere there yes they are spotted me and place down your turret of course use a med kit if you have to there's soon a healer and you will get back your med kit pretty fast sneak up there oh they saw me already Otherwise, it should it's possible to kill many of them at the same time, but doesn't matter that much. Yeah, they stand together very nicely. Place the sticky on the ground. Just one guy left. Then for the next part, go a little bit back here. There is a little magical trick here. No, not consumable. Make ready a tear gas grenade. Sneak in front here. Be really silent throw it behind this truck here run there make your sticky ready and surprise surprise all of uh, healer and some of them stand in the truck you can kill all at once and you have just to handle the shield guy here and here of course same procedure as usual 
use your skills, sticky seeker, grenade, whatever you have to kill this guy as fast as possible. Then for the next part you have to prepare something. You have to change the sticky again back to a turret. You death, yeah, you death. Ein Ball, ein Tod, würde we <laughs> would 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 uh, wit probably say. Uh, no fun. Beside, just change back to a turret. Place your turret up on this police car's light. Zoop, this way. Go back to the box. Place down your seekers on the floor and pick up the box. And walk calm as fast as you can behind this truck or in front of this truck let's say in front then clear out the first spawn here of the NPCs should be pretty easy turret and seekers will do the work for you so change the weapon again to get predatory and the other things with my weapon I will explain too in my build video so check it out as I said I will leave the link at the end of this video with the different talents I'm using on this one and yeah the, the thing is just on one weapon I do have uh, more damage skills especially to elites ferocious destructive for the ma main ones and determined of course it's in my opinion the must have on every skill build weapon then prepare the next part here place your turret on this truck here you will see why because they spawn close to the spot two LMG guys, veterans and the shield guy, an elite one and some red bars but they are not that important to know grab the box again, place your seekers on the ground and walk behind this uh, banner or the thing here and then they will spawn as you see now they spawn so you have here I walk usually as fast as I can before they start to shoot me that I save a little bit time yeah don't make it too risky go back in cover here wait for your seekers as you see shield guys are almost dead Place your seekers, place your turret on this red white railing or blockade or whatever the name is. Use your whatever you have, grenade, get killed with the grenade accommodation too. <laughs> As you see, always have accommodation in my mind too. And kill these other guys here. Should be not that hard this part. If you prepare it properly, place your turret on this truck and go in cover here. Should be really easy. So I think just one guy left. Let's push a little bit that we can throw our seekers back there. Then we can prepare our next step. How much health he has left? Full health, probably. He needs a little bit more to be dead. course sometimes you can use your weapon as well probably your aim is much better than mine so <laughs> makes it easier so the next step is the same procedure as before place your turret up here on this truck again there's an agent and two red bar healers they will spawn and the agent it's RNG sometimes here sometimes here he will came up the, the things here on the on the ground so same procedure but this time don't put your seekers on the floor because most of the time they hit yourself if you place down them on the floor too early because it will spawn really close to you so walk around this here leave it on the ground jump forward and run back and yeah go behind the cover and let turret and seeker do their work and the and you see the agent should be already dead from my turret and my seeker that's the hardest part there are some grenadiers left and yes the healer placed down his box there that's pretty nice because usually they rush you here 
and if they're not in the green healed circle you can kill them faster. That's the, the reason too why you place down your your turret on the lorry on the tractor because then the healer placed down the, their healing box earlier. So otherwise it could be that the healer rusts you a little bit more and place down their healing boxes more close to the spot you are. So make sure all the time you place the turret up there and it makes it a lot easier and faster. They don't want to move it seems, so rush them a little bit. I think just to left, a grenadier in the healer. Should be not that hard, so always be in cover as usual. So turret and speaker, and they should be dead. Just one grenadier left I think. Yeah, done. Grab the medkits if you need. And the next part, place the fuse in to the box, really really hard, I hope everyone can do that, it's really hard. No, but before I do it, uh, just uh, information for the next part, my preferred spot, I tried me many many things, and yeah, I would like to do this mission pretty fast, so my preferred spot is always in this store there, but if you don't feel comfortable enough, because it's uh, RNG2 where they spawn, and sometimes they can spawn, I don't know how it is this time, they can spawn in this door, then it can be a little bit tricky, it's still doable, but it can be tricky. But one other way is just go back as usual on the same spot as I was before on this platform. And this is the safe way, you just need a little bit more time, but it's a viable option as well. But I will show you the, the option with the store. But I think as you see so far, it's not that hard, pretty doable just prepare every step and it makes it pretty easy when they spawn. So run to the store, then here I wait usually to see where they spawn, place my... S no, they don't spawn inside here now at the moment. The two snipers will spawn outside here. Yeah, we can get both of them. I place my turret there because some shotgunners will spawn too. It seems out there, yeah, now they spotted me, now they will rush me soon, as you see here, but my turret will kill him. On the way here, why? Just wanna show where he came from, a little bastard. I think to the snipers, there are two snipers, edit ones on the tribune there, on the, I don't know, tell me how this name is in English, uh, exactly. I think they shot at me here. Uh, I think every veteran is gone already, just with my secret turret. No, it's one left. Yeah, one left. So just be safe, kill this guy first, and after this we kill the two snipers on the thing there, where you watch the football games and theater and everything. He should be there. Come on, die, bleed, bleed, bleed. Nice. And then the safest way here for me is just all the time go cover to cover. The chance is lower that they can hit you and behind this thing here, yeah. Not all the time but often. Then throw your seekers out, wait until they are almost dead. Should be soon and then go back into the sound. Detected. And here you will play, uh, as you see here, that can be tricky, shot it, throw your turret there, place to see secret floor, and as you see, this can be a little bit tricky, don't forget to use your med kit, but the nice thing is here, if you managed the first part here, and there are two agents down here, down there, they throw as you already know, I think, they throw uh, stickies too. And this is really, for me, the safer spot inside here than outside. So, just give it a try. And of course, if you die sometimes, it doesn't matter that much. Checkpoint is not that far away. So, just give it a try. And yeah, as you see, if you're around the corner, then they don't can hit you. But of course, you have to be careful annoying healer placed this box right in front or almost in front of the door but just take your time first stage is down 
I used Watcher as you saw before that I do more damage because if you watch the health bars of the healer and the agents they are all elites and I really would like to kill them as fast as possible. Yeah, they're annoying. <laughs> I like to kill them as fast as possible. Uh, I could place my turret a little bit more in the front. Would be better for this one to get the box. I think I got the box already. Nice. Yeah, always use your grenades too, that they don't rush you too much. And this, if you see the tur uh, disable my turret, that's not nice of you, my friend. This is my gift for you because you disable my turret. I think this should be it. Destroy my. Morning. Turret because the boss already spawns here. That I have a fresh turret on the floor. And same procedure. And here too, if you have drink water, kill this guy a little quicker and also such and Wilbur. The turret does more damage, but now I will re replace it. I'm on full health, I have stacks, I use water, so I do more damage if he came. I hope he came soon. And you can do up to 20, 20, 1000 damage each bullet if he would come here. Where is it? Where is this annoying guy? Come on! Sometimes you have a little bit, grab a little bit aggro. That was not that useful too early as I drank my water, drunk my water. But just wait until everyone is dead. And yeah, although it's a guide video, but I think I will try something, if it works or not. I'm trying to improve my time here a little bit. Probably I'll work, I'll try it with you guys. Take care, Sergeant Wilbord sometimes came a little bit in. Not all the way, but just around this corner. So back up a little bit. Yeah, the thing I would like to try is... Why I change quickly something? Skill haste. One into stamina. Then a two fifty six. Deadly responsive. Ten. ACR 13.9 Let's use this one, although I don't have the right talents And if just Wilbur is left, I will try something Oh! I didn't know that you're still alive, I thought I got every purple guy. So let's quickly check something. And of course you don't have to do this. So just stand inside here, go ahead with the same procedure, throw out your turret and your seekers. But why not testing something with you? Or for you then you know something as well. And it's a little secret, so, no, now I think it could be just him left. I need my skill back, come on. Could be a little bit dangerous, probably I'll fuck it up, but then it's my problem, not yours. So change to pulse, change to this one, change to shock grenades. Could be that you know now what my plan is. Come a little bit closer, my friend. Come a little bit closer. Shock him. Oh shit, it doesn't work. Okay. At least not the first time, probably the second time.
No, don't run away. Come back here. Oh, Bilbo, you're annoying. Do I have bleed on this gun? <laughs> nice. Uh, come on. Closer. Closer. I'll just see if I can destroy his backpack. But my aim was not that good, I know. Not. Again. Oh, I got it. Yeah, it works. Okay. You can make it a little bit faster, right, in the first time if you land more shots. But it's doable. Yeah, you can kill him a little bit faster. Just use shock grenade pulse for more crit damage on this part. But of course, you don't have to do it. So really, it was just a try. I never did it before. I just finished one with, with my D3 set not that long ago, probably you saw this video already. And yeah, there I figured out that I can destroy it very fast and with a skill build, with a strong pulse, you do a lot of damage as well. And so you can kill him a little bit faster because it yeah, can be a little bit annoying if you kill him just with your turret. It takes usually yeah, pretty long time. And this would be a strategy. I don't even know if you really have to change to tech link or it's doable too with a with a without and just with the pulse. I just try it out probably in the future again and let you know what how it works. Yeah, but this was the guide, tutorial, whatever, how you name it. I hope it was useful for you that you can improve your runs a little bit with this bot, which makes it really easy in my opinion. And if you enjoyed it, check out my other videos, I really appreciate it and just as I said, leave a comment down below for every question you have or everything you need to know from guide missions and uh, missions to guide. <laughs> it's difficult to teach so long. No, if you need another guide for a mission or a build video or whatever, just leave a comment down below. I really appreciate it and I will do it if I can as soon as oh, it's doable for me. So hope you enjoy this and see you soon guys. Happy hunting. Bye bye.